Congressional members are giving mixed reactions to the news of the indictment. WENY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. News of former President Donald Trump's federal indictment over how he handled classified documents spread quickly in Washington. Top Republicans like Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy were quick to defend Trump. Mike Pence, Trump's former vice president and currently running for the Republican presidential nomination, is also defending his former boss. And I'm deeply troubled to see this indictment move forward. Pennsylvania Congressman Glenn Thompson told us, quote, while the full details of the indictment have not been released, one has to question the political motivations of bringing charges against the presidential front runner. New York Congressman Nick Langworthy said in part, is it any coincidence that as we uncover more evidence into Biden's bribery scheme, he weaponizes the FBI and DOJ against his top opponent? Virgin Islands Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, who is on the subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government, said in part, it is important that we members of the federal legislature allow the separate branch of government, the judicial branch, to operate independently. I call on my Republican colleagues not to weaponize Congress to the benefit of a man at the expense of our republic. I and my Democratic colleagues on the select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government will be vigilant to call out falsehoods propagated by MAGA Republicans and the use of the subcommittee to operate as a separate arm of Donald Trump's defense team. At the U.S. Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.